In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the appearance of your cork board beyond the size and shape of the actual cards, which you can do from the menu in its footer bar. We're going to go over to Scrivener, Preferences, and open up the cork board tab. Here you can make some choices about the look of your cards, like whether you want lines on them or not, and whether you want your headings to have two lines or just the one. If you have image toggled on in the synopsis area of the inspector, this display images as photographs will make it show up on the actual index card. So this is what it looks like unchecked and when I check it the image shows in the index card. You can still toggle between image and synopsis in the inspector but if you want to see an image in the inspector and still see your synopsis on the index card, that's when you uncheck this box. Now let's have a look at some of the preloaded choices you have for your corkboard background. You can have beige graph paper, slate graph paper, or select a custom color by clicking on the color well to bring up your colors menu and selecting a color either from the wheel or from one of your saved colors. If you choose custom background, your finder will open and you can choose a background image from your computer. Make sure your image is big enough to fit your whole screen so that it does not tile. Exactly the same choices apply to the freeform background. You can choose the look of your actual index cards here. Rounded rounds off the edges and gives you markers instead of pins. Then you can have red and blue index cards or blue and black. With these last two you can reposition your pins. If you're using status stamps, here's where you can adjust the opacity of their text. I'll just pop in and apply one to show you. You can fiddle with the shadows that your index cards cast on their background. This might help them to stand out if you have very light background. In the fonts container, you can adjust your font sizes. This is self-explanatory. Place your preferences menu above your project and play around with all these settings until you decide what looks best for you.